Hello everybody, here is Christian Lamichka for Country Music News International and today on the show we have James Robert Webb. James, welcome back to Country Music News International. Thanks for having me back, Christian. Hey everybody. Folks, the last time we talked such a lot about private things with him, today we stayed focused to more to his music. You have a new album out which calls Honky Tonk Revival. That's by the way the CD cover so way you know how to find it better at your favorite CD store. And there are okay, it's there are not numbers on it. So how many songs do we have? Uh, I think it's 12, is that right? Oh, you yeah. have to know that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I lose track sometimes. Because we, we, we play not just on the album when we're playing, but oh. yeah. Yeah, uh, I wrote most of that. You know, we covered a few songs. Uh, I covered He Stopped Loving Her Today and uh, the, and the uh, George Strait song Nobody in His Right Mind Would Have Left Her, uh, just because I had a little bit different you know, production idea on that. But yeah. By the fact that there are so many songs on it, when you have to pick up three songs where you say that's my personal favorites, which will be to be? Well, uh, you know, we have American Beauty just debuted on Billboard in the States, so that's got to be one of my favorite songs, right? You know, uh, probably Falling Star is, is one that a lot of people say I, I like as well. Uh, and then, you know, if you like the old kind of 90s country kind of up-tempo fun stuff like Alan Jackson, that Man on a Mission is a good one. I'm, I'm a man on a mission, on a mission to be your man. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, James, what happens to you since the last time we met each other? Oh man, don't get me started. You know, I mean, there's so many things. Oh, we have plenty of time. More or less 20 minutes. Oh, well, well, that, that ought to cover it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we've had some amazing things. I think since the last time we talked, we actually released the album. Uh, we got really amazing reviews from, uh, from the critics. In fact, you know, country music people gave us a five-star review. Uh, shout out, thank you, because that's, you know, that's for people over in, you know, in, in Germany, probably familiar with them, too. Um, so that was huge for a print magazine. I, I know a lot of people have uh, found me online and, you know, reached out, you know, because they read that review in the article. And we've got, you know, great press over in the States as well. But, uh, you know, we had, we had a couple of videos and just out there singing, playing, you know, raising money for charity, all, all kinds of stuff. Writing songs, you know, trying to write better songs every day, and waiting for a big break, as it were. Okay. By the way, writing better songs each day, what does that mean? How do you get ideas for it? Well, ideas, uh, I've never had too much trouble coming up with ideas for songs. I think it really, what I mean by getting better is just working on the craft. Just like like you do with your show I mean every time you you know year after year you get better you learn little things uh, you know if you're playing tennis or you know whatever it is you do you uh, just try to get better if you're if you're trying to do it to try to be the best so you're for many years now in the music business so what's the biggest difference between the James Robert Webb 10 years ago and now yeah um, yeah I started what so it's 2018, so I think I started 2000, so five years ago, started writing. I'd say I'm probably more confident. You know, I've uh, definitely, through my experience and you know, meeting more fans and playing more shows and recording albums, certainly found my voice. That's that's one nice thing. It's uh, you know, it's more James Robert Webb, supposed to say the karaoke of whoever, all my influences. Uh, I'm more confident in my writing in that I. Uh, you know, I've had some cuts, and uh, you know, I've had some you know big chart success with songs that I've written. So when I first came to town, I was very. Uh, a lot of people said that's too country, that's too traditional. You know, that's not where it is, and uh, I was like, I. For me, country music. I mean, there's a certain. The certain thing about country music, it's just about regular people and and stories and. Uh, well, if, you know, if that's who I am, I don't care if I'm successful as long as I'm writing, you know, country songs. Yeah. Okay. By the way, when you have the chance to pick up an artist of your choice who's opening for you, who will it be? An artist opening for me. Well, that, that kind of excludes some people that I, you know, would be thankful to open for, right? Um, 
gosh, I don't know. That's that's kind of a hard because I have to see people coming up behind me, right? You know, I, I don't think we'll ever be to a point where Garth Brooks would be opening for me. <laughs> yeah. So Garth, well, I would love to run, open Ga for Garth. <laughs> well, Garth, be nice. Open for him. His biggest wish comes true. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I can tell you, Gav, he's a really nice guy. You will love to open for him. So after Gav opened for you then the next concert, um, maybe you can write together with him a song. Oh, I, w I would love to write a song with Garth, yeah. yeah. I've, been, I'm, I've been lucky to, to write with some people that have had cuts with him. So so uh, we're, we're on, I'll be writing with Garth someday. Okay. So, well, James, so which message you like to send to your European and worldwide fans? Oh, I just thank you for loving the music and, uh, you know, I just, it's so great to see you guys out there and I, I promise I'll keep making music that you love. I'll, I'll keep making the music that's 100% James Robert Webb, so you keep listening. So, folks, keep up to date with him here on Country Music News International. Join our daily newsletter and we keep you up to date what's going on with him. Have a great day here from Nashville, Tennessee.